Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Vivian and I upload videos to YouTube that are about fashion and style, beauty and travel, um, lots of unboxings and reviews. If you would like that, please hit the subscribe button. Um, it would mean a lot to me. And if you want more daily content, then follow me on Instagram, which is Vivi in Vogue. I'll leave the link in the description bar below. Today, I have a really exciting unboxing for you. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen what it is, which is why you should follow me on Instagram, because I usually post there a lot faster and earlier than I do to YouTube. Um, but let's just get into it. <laughs> I got, as I mentioned, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen. So I've got the ribbon inside. There's a little um, like care booklet thingy. The little Chanel sticker. If I open that up. Open this little dust bag. I am completely obsessed with this. I just got it yesterday and I already think it's going to be one of my like most worn bags. So it comes in this little... Um, black dust bag so you can tell it's like not a classic flap like all my other bags it is uh, this little cute pink vanity so let me show you let's get the chain out like this and it's got this little white felt protector there so take that off there this is my brand new little pink 22p so 2022 uh, spring summer act one um like vanity top handle on chain and isn't she beautiful? I am so obsessed with the color. So in this video, I'm gonna do some comparisons to other Chanel um, like card holders on chains and like micro bags, as well as show you what fits inside, give you the dimensions, the price, because a lot of you have been asking me on Instagram for that, um, and show you like the color comparisons to some of Chanel's other pinks. So first I'll start with the story of how I even managed to get this little kitty. Um, so I actually originally wasn't really thinking to get this, but I knew I really wanted something in this 22p pink color because I'm, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with pink. I wear a lot of pink. Um, pink for me is like a neutral like beige or black or white. I wear a lot of it. Um, and I love this pink more than like the 21c pink or like the 21s or even the 22c, um, which I'll insert all the photo comparisons of. So I loved this pink um, and immediately I was talking with my sales associate from Chanel like a few months ago saying like what items are coming in this pink because like I really want this pink. Um, and so we were looking at like all the card holders and the smaller the goods and like the wallets and like the mini rectangles with top handles, the classic flaps, etc. Um, I wasn't really a fan of like any of those other items, but I have been wanting a micro bag for a little while. Um, and there's actually one micro bag that I'll insert a photo of that I almost purchased um, a couple of seasons ago. They've brought it out, I think, two or three seasons now. Um, and I think that they're just going to keep bringing it back in like different colors. Um, so I was looking at purchasing that a couple of seasons ago, but the one thing that I didn't like was how small it is. So even though the front on dimensions, I'll insert a comparison photo, is very similar. The other one is actually a little bit, um, it's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider. So this one, the 22p one, I think is very square, like it's quite uh, symmetrical in like length and height, whereas the other one is a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, so it's a bit more rectangular. However, on the side, it's a lot thinner the other one is more like a card holder if you have a look at it whereas this one has a much wider base and is more like a proper micro bag so I was going to purchase that one a while ago um but I yeah I know I was a bit deterred by like how much will fit in it it kind of fits the same as say like one of these like little card holders um if you like stuff this out then it gets a little wider and it would fit about the same amount um so I've been like looking for a little micro bag but wanted it to actually fit a lot of stuff in it um and then, yeah, my sales associate was like, oh, we have this one that's going to be a little bit bigger. Essentially, I said, like, sure, like, I would be interested to see it when it comes in. And then it came in a couple days ago. Um, my sales associate sent me some photos and I ended up getting it. And then I picked it up yesterday. First off, let's start with size. So this is four and a half centimeters at the widest base. If I do that, you can see it there. Four and a half centimeters at the widest base there. And in height, it is... Uh, also four and a half centimeters so like I said it is pretty symmetrical so you can see there that is also about four and a half centimeters so it's about four and a half centimeters in height and four and a half centimeters in uh, length in the width the widest part at the base across is exactly two centimeters so I'll show you that two centimeters at the um the thickest base and as you can see like it tapers up uh, towards the top 
this is the only tiny like micro bag that I own. I have a lot of like mini bags, but nothing truly like small like this. Um, but I will try and find some online measurements for some of Chanel's other like vanity on chain and like small micro bags um, and put in some of the size comparisons there. Um, I would say that this is very similar to the mini trendy i think it's called i'll insert a photo i don't know if that's exactly what the name is called but that's why i see a lot of people on like instagram and youtube call it um because it's essentially like a mini micro version of like the trendy bag which i'll also insert a photo of so i think in terms of size comparison this is really similar to that this one might be a little bit shorter i'm not too sure because i don't own that one um so it might be a little bit shorter in terms of height um, but i think the width is pretty comparable and in terms of what fits inside i would say that they look pretty the same so looking at the design and some of the style details, it's obviously very reminiscent of Chanel's iconic classic flat bag, which I'll insert a photo of, but I think we're all very familiar with. Um, it's got the classic flat sort of like um, downward curved front with the little CC and a magnetic closure, um, which I love because when it's a, like a little button, you have to like actually push it in and like pop the button into place, whereas this one clicks into place very easy so if you're on the go you don't have to worry that it's gonna um pop off also it means you can stuff the bag a little bit and the button's not gonna burst because the magnet's holding it down um it's got the quilted motif all across the front and the back the sides are just a smooth clean leather um it obviously has this tiny little top handle which i think is so cute um you obviously can't fit like your whole hand um or like your elbow through there but it's just like a little handheld and then it's got this beautiful long strap um, which i'll measure for you guys inside has this little um vanity mirror um which is new for these kind of style of bags i don't believe that any previous chanel like micro bag on chain has the little vanity so that's useful for like touching up makeup lipstick checking if you have food in your mouth um the inside has four card slots so there's one two three four two on each side and then it's just got the little uh, Chanel like plaque inside. Um, and this one does still have a little authenticity um, hologram sticker inside and the matching um, like authenticity card. The base of this is also completely flat. So it does actually stand up. I'll just show you really quickly that if you pop that down, it does in fact actually stand up and not lean like forwards or backwards. You can easily put it down like on a table and it's not gonna like fall over. Um, in terms of the strap job, um, it's not adjustable and it's not removable. So if you can see, it is um, like connected to these little D-links here at the handle. Um, so you can't like unclip it. The strap job at its tallest height is 24 centimeters. 24 centimeters and I will show you I am 165 centimeters tall I don't know what that is in foot in inches because I am Australian and we use the metric system um but I'm sure you can convert it online um I'm 165 centimeters tall and I'll insert some videos about how it looks when worn on me so this is what it looks like when it's worn uh cross body so if I have it like over one shoulder sideways and then I've also done a video if it's just on your shoulder one way so even though the chain strap is not adjustable or removable on the bag itself, if you have one of these little mechanisms, which you can get for free from Chanel, usually if you buy like a mini bag, I don't know if they'll give them away with like SLGs and micro bags like this, but if you buy mini rectangulars or like mini squares, like any kind of mini bag, usually if you ask, they'll give you one of these for free. Otherwise, I'll leave a link for them in the description bar below. You can find them on eBay, Amazon, um, Etsy, and I think they're like, five to like ten dollars per thing so it's not a lot even if you can't get them for free from chanel it's worth buying um and how it works is that you pull up the middle like um mechanism and then insert the clips that you want to shorten and then you close it and then it helps shorten the strap so i'll show you how this works so say for example instead of having it this long you want to have it like just this long so you can use it as a handheld then you connect here the two straps that you want to shorten you open up the little mechanism, loop it through the chains and be careful not to nick any of the leather and then close the mechanism like so. So here. Hopefully you can see how that clips the two chains together. And now when you do that, if you hold the chain like that, it's a lot shorter. And obviously there's this little um, bit of chain like dangling, but I find that you can just tuck that into the bag like this. 
and you can still see it a little bit on the side like there like you can see it tucked in um but it's not too bad and i definitely think from afar you wouldn't see it and now suddenly you have like a little short shoulder strap so i'll insert a video of what that looks like worn um you could also do this like wrapped around your waist which i'll insert a video of and wear it as like a little belt bag um so yeah this little piece i love that you can wear it crossbody like on the shoulder like handheld um you can also completely tuck the chain into the bag and just wear it like by the mini top handle um or you can play with a chain clip adjuster and make it like a little belt bag so it's very versatile in my opinion since um posting my little unboxing of this last night i must have gotten like 100 messages with the same question like how does this compare to the chanel 2021 spring summer like lavender pink so I do have this little card holder from last year's 21S collection, um, which was the 2021 Spring Summer Act 2 collection. And this little pink, it looks very similar, but this one definitely has more lilac undertones. Um, I have lots of photos of this like on my Instagram. So if you want to like look at more detailed stuff, you can find it there. But looking at the comparison, they're obviously very, very similar. Um, but I'll insert some photos showing what they look like um, with like different lighting and backdrops and stuff. And I definitely think it's hard to capture on video, but in photo, you can definitely see a difference. Um, the 21S pink, as much as I love it, definitely has little purple undertones. So the 22 pink, in my opinion, is a true pink. There's no undertones of like white or like gray or like stone, beige or purple. Um, I'll insert lots of photos of it on my Instagram over the next couple of like weeks and stuff as I wear it. So you can check them out on Instagram if you want. Vivian Vogue, I'll leave the link in the description bar below. Um, but if for people who wanted like a real pink, because I know a lot of people didn't like like the beigey pinks that are a little bit more like brown or like stone colored. This is like definitely a true proper pink um, with no undertones. In terms of what fits inside this little micro bag, yesterday when I went to pick it up, I was actually using my mini square pearl crush bag and when I got home I transferred everything from this bag into this bag and it all fit so let me show you what I was carrying yesterday and how I made it fit all into the new micro bag my go-to everyday wallet that I use literally every single day for like years is the Chanel mini o case um, and I've done a very in-depth YouTube video comparison um, with Chanel's most popular like wallet style products which is the mini o case the flap card holder and then the flat card holder um so there's the video that i previously did i'll leave the link for that in the description bar below if you want to see like what fits in each of these items and like how i use them and how i would like rank them and compare them you can do that um, but in terms of what i use every single day this is usually what i throw into my bags so this does fit into the chanel mini square as you can see like that but I find that when I do that, I don't have as much space for everything else. So usually if I'm using the mini square, I'll transfer some of my stuff into the flat card case. And I'll just put like my ID, like my bank cards, like some cash, stuff like that. So yesterday I had, I was using this wallet. And then I also had my house keys, which is why I love this. Because I usually just put my house keys like down the side here. But I had my house keys and I just put them in the side like that i obviously had my car keys and these are like bulky electronic car keys so i popped these in there as well i used my airpod pros which i refuse to go anywhere without because i am always listening to music so i popped those in there i had a little lipstick this is just a standard chanel lipstick but any lipstick would fit i had my mask and just for fun, I did bring a little like mini travel size perfume. So you can see all of that fits like super comfortably in there. And I did also have my phone. Um, obviously I'm filming with my phone, so I'm just showing you my phone card case, but that also fits nicely down the front. So this is exactly how I had my bag packed yesterday. I had my wallet down the back, the lipstick, the AirPod Pros, car keys, house keys, um, a mask. There's a little perfume in there somewhere, I can't see, and then my phone down the front. And that closes super comfortably like that, not bulging out the sides. And that is exactly how I had my bag packed yesterday. So let me show you how I transferred all of that into my new little micro bag. Okay, so starting with the card case, even though the dimensions of this look like it should fit the card case, I will let you know now that it doesn't fit. Um, I'll just show you. So putting it tall ways, it's a little bit too tall that the bag doesn't shut so you could have one in if you didn't want to shut the bag but i don't know why you wouldn't want to shut the bag um and then unfortunately long ways 
it fits if you put it in diagonally like that but then you basically have no space for anything else and it makes the font kind of skew like that so you can't even shut it really so i would say these are flat card cases which is really like the standard size for any card case like not just a chanel card case they don't unfortunately fit inside so what i did was i just took all the cards out of here and put them in here so i'll show you guys that so i just put three cards in the front here two over there and then two more in these so that's two four six nine nine cards total uh fit inside like i said you could probably put three in all of them but i just went three and one and then two in all the others and they fit comfortably you can see like the leather isn't um like breaking or like ripping or being pulled or anything like that um and it's not making it bulgy or anything so i fit all of my cards in like that then i have my electronic car key which fits comfortably and my airpod pros i've got my uh car keys my airpods and cards in every slot put the lipstick down the side like that and then obviously i need to put my house keys which go in like so the only other thing that i had in here is my phone which obviously doesn't fit um but i'm not gonna lie even though i had i only had my phone in my bag when i was basically driving usually when i'm walking i'm texting which i know is a really bad habit or i'm listening to music and like changing songs um with my fingers so i'm always holding my hands or i have them like in my pocket for easy access like on a dress or a jacket so phone does not fit and the last thing i had was my mask so that fits just across the top like so and then it closes super comfortably so it is a snap magnetic closure which i love you can hear it click into place like that um and i love that because it means that you don't have to like try to like actually push the button in and like get scared it's gonna pop off so once it's closed you can see the front is all good and like straight and it closes easily the sides aren't protruding or like bulging there you go so that literally fits every single thing that i had yesterday in this bag except for the physical card case but i just took everything out of the card case and put it in the card slots um, and my phone, which I just had in my hand all day. Everything that fits inside, I had a stack of thick cards like so. Um, I had three in one pocket and then two in every other pocket. Had my electronic um, car keys, like a stack of house keys. And I have like five house keys for like different gates and doors and stuff like that. So if you just have like literally one house key, then that will obviously fit inside and maybe leave you extra room for something else. My AirPod Pros. Um, my mask and a lipstick. Last night, as soon as I unboxed this, I was flooded with questions asking how much is this bag? And I don't know if you guys have realized in all of my previous videos, whether it's um, a Chanel video or a Louis Vuitton video or whatever, I never actually mentioned the price of the product that I'm reviewing. Just because I personally have seen a lot of people on YouTube when they're talking about pricing, they get comments um from people saying like oh my god like what a waste of money why would you spend that much blah 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 and, like making fun of them or try trying to make fun of people who like to spend money on bags and stuff like that and i get it that it's not for everyone um but i personally just have wanted to kind of avoid people thinking like oh my god like she's so young and she's wasting all of her money doing this like why isn't she spending her money like this and that or whatever so that's why i've never mentioned um the price for any product like on my instagram or on my youtube but because so many of you asked for it, obviously it's something that a lot of you want to know. And this um, YouTube and my whole Instagram is about trying to share information with you guys to make shopping easy for you guys and to help you guys decide if you want things and to help you guys. So I will say that this little bag was $3,800 in Australia. Take with that what you will. If you think that that's too much, or if you think I'm stupid for spending my, that, my money that way, please don't comment it down below. You can keep that to yourself. Um, I know that it's inevitable sometimes that people are always going to be negative online and say like oh you're silly for doing this or like i would never do that like you shouldn't do that um but if you are not into like luxury goods and fashion then my instagram and youtube is definitely not for you <laughs> comment down below please if you would prefer like moving forward that i talk about the pricing of stuff it's something that i consciously decided when i started my instagram and youtube not to talk about again just because i didn't want to be subject to like these comments saying like you're so silly for spending this kind of money like you should be doing other things like why don't you do this with that money why don't you do that with that money blah 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 um that's just something that i've really wanted to avoid for a long time so i've never talked about the pricing of stuff ever but if you guys are like super interested in knowing it and you think that it would help you and make these videos on my instagram like more informative comment below um and enough and if enough people want that kind of information then moving forward i will share that kind of stuff with you guys 
In terms of what I think about the pricing, yes, $3,800 is a lot of money to spend on anything, period. Um, however, I do think that this in comparison to some other micro bags is worth more. So the other style that I was predominantly looking at, which I don't know the full name for it, but let's say it's like the classic flat card holder on chain. I believe that that bag now is $3,400. So it's very similar and it doesn't have the internal mirror and it's a lot thinner so it doesn't fit as much. It really, to me, more looks like a card holder on chain. So when you look at Chanel's card holders, like this looks very similar to that. And this, I think, I don't know the current price, but when I bought this, it was like $500, $600, I think. So for $500, $600, you can get like a little chain, which I've done before, and turn this into like a little mini bag. I'll insert a photo and you can wear this as a mini bag, like crossbody or as a belt bag. So you can makeshift your own card holder on chain for $600 as opposed to spending $3,400 on something that looks very similar and like hold the exact same capacity in my personal opinion. So I think that it's worth spending the extra $400 to get the little mirror so I don't have to carry a mirror and to get mostly just the extra width which makes this personally usable in my opinion like it actually fits the things that I need it to use so it's not just like a cute little bag accessory um that you wear just for style and you can't actually use functionally but it is like functional and cute so I think that brings us to the end of our video. If you did enjoy it, please like and comment down below. I would really appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, then that also really helps me out. Um, if you're looking for more daily content about Chanel or bags or fashion, beauty and travel in general, then follow me on Instagram, Vivi and Vogue. The link is in the description bar below. In this video, we covered the size dimensions of the bag, what fits inside the bag, um, the chain like drop in different ways to wear it and how to adjust the chain strap to wear it in different ways. Um, comparing it to some of Chanel's other really popular micro bag and like vanity bag styles and why I personally think this is much more worth the money than some other styles um, and color comparisons with some of Chanel's most popular pinks lately. If there was anything that you wanted to see in this video that wasn't in this video leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you or send me a, d a DM on Instagram and I will try to respond to you there. Thank you so much for watching guys I'll be back with another video soon.